physicists believe that our universe started with an incredibly rapid phase of expansion in which it grew exponentially. This idea is called inflation. It has two big problems. First, what caused the rapid expansion? And second, why did it stop? In a new paper that just appeared, a team of physicists have come up with what is, according to multiple news articles, a groundbreaking and revolutionary solution to both problems. I had a look and I was pleasantly surprised. Inflation was invented, bizarrely enough, to explain why we have never seen a magnetic monopole. I say it's bizarre because you might think that maybe the reason is that magnetic monopoles don't exist. But that would have been too easy, much better to invent a new phase of the universe and a whole research area to go with it. That's how careers are made. All joking aside, inflation had a weird motivation. But astrophysicists then notice that it solved some other problems. One is that it explains why the temperature of the cosmic microwave background is almost exactly the same everywhere we look. Because remember that the cosmic microwave background was emitted from the hot plasma in the early universe. Without inflation, the areas of the plasma that give rise to the cosmic microwave background in two opposite directions were never in causal contact. There's no good reason for why they should have the same temperature. The problem with inflation is that universes don't suddenly inflate just like that. You need to come up with a reason. To make inflation work, physicists have therefore postulated that once upon a time, the universe was filled with a field called the inflaton field. This field drove the inflation. It also supposedly generated small fluctuations and then fell apart into standard matter. These small fluctuations are then imprinted into the plasma of the matter. This first makes the patterns in the cosmic microwave background and the fluctuations later grow to stars and galaxies and galaxy clusters. The trouble is that there are many, many ways to invent such inflatons and make them fall apart. There are literally hundreds of inflation models, all of which have three parameters, many of them multiple ones, and these can be adjusted to fit any observation. This makes the theory for all practical purposes non-predictive, which is most likely why there hasn't been a Nobel Prize for it. The authors of the new paper now say they can do much better. They say, forget about inflaton fields, we don't need that. We just start with a space with a huge positive cosmological constant that already makes this rapid exponential expansion the inflation. But with a constant so large, this space isn't entirely stable. This means that small fluctuations grow and eventually the exponential expansion can't be sustained and falls apart. They say that if this happens, then inflation ends and the leftover cosmological constant is very small. At the same time, the fluctuations in the matter density come from the fluctuations in space. So one doesn't need an inflaton field at all. Gravity does everything. It generates the fluctuations and explains why inflation ends. This is a very appealing idea. Better still, they have only one parameter to fix, that's the expansion rate in the early universe, and they fit this to the amplitude of fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background. With this, they also reproduce several of the other achievements of inflation that match the cosmic microwave background, like the near but not exact scale invariance of perturbations or the absence of certain correlations. However, the paper doesn't say anything about the maybe most important prediction of inflation, a correlation between the fluctuations of the temperature and its polarization. So honestly, I like the idea. It's neat, it's minimalistic, and if it works, it'd really solve the problems with inflation. 
However, I'm not at all sure they will get this missing prediction out correctly. This is why I give it an 8 out of 10 on the bullshit meter, because they really, really should have covered this point. This work is another reminder for why it's so difficult to settle how our universe began. It's not that physicists are stupid, it's that we have very little data to guide the theory development. We're literally trying to reconstruct what happened more than 13 billion years ago. It's amazing we even got so far, and that half of the theories don't start with once upon a time. Yes, I do read a lot of news and know that chatbots still aren't any good at writing my scripts, but what does help me a lot is Ground News. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. A very curious example are the recent headlines about the hurricane that swept over the American East but that wasn't reported by the right-leaning media, like not at all. Ground News also gives you a brief summary and a factuality check for each news item. You can also see who owns the media outlets and where the news has appeared. It's really taking news reading to a higher level. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one one side of the political spectrum. And of course I have a special offer for you, that's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news Zabine or use the QR code. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow.